Hey uh, Whitney Creech and head coach Greg Collins, and we'll open it straight into questions for you guys. Rick, was that one of the best teams you played all season? You know, Rice is a great team. They're uh, well coached, and you know they play with a lot of heart and a lot of effort. And you know they're great defensively. They have good size, great size. So you know they were a really tough team. How much did that size kind of affect for you guys on here to try and get in the paint, but sometimes you had to bring it back out? Yeah, it kind of affected us a little bit. We weren't able to penetrate and you know finish at the rim. It kind of forced us to have to knock down some jump shots tonight. So it definitely affected us on the offensive end. Greg, to kind of play off this first question, just as far as the level of play that Rice has had maybe compared to other conference teams in the league this year and even past years, what did you see on the floor tonight that may or may not suggest that that was they're one, they're one of the, clearly one of the best teams in our conference right now. Now we've not played uh, some, there's Middle Tennessee and UAB. We've not played them. We've not played North Texas. We'll play them Saturday. Uh, so I can't speak as for those teams. But uh, as far as the other schools we played, they're the best in the conference we've played so far. Uh, what really changes it is having that size inside. That changes everything. And then they've got uh, you know all the, all the players on the perimeter. Okay, they're all good ball players and they can make the three. And so they've got that inside outside attack and. Uh, we just weren't, weren't able to, to capitalize on our turnovers that we created, and we weren't able to make enough perimeter shots to kind of pull them out uh, from the inside enough. Do you see any sort of similarities from, from this loss and that Southern Miss loss where there's just a quick start that didn't allow you guys to really get going? I guess Whitney answer that one. Mm -hmm. Just sort of similar starts that didn't allow you all to get back in. Yeah, definitely for the Southern Miss in this game, you know, we didn't get off to a good start. And when you dig yourself in a hole the whole game, you're just trying to fight and fight and get out of that hole. So, you know, we didn't put us in a great position for the rest of the game. With, as a player, um, obviously you don't want what happened tonight. But can you sit there and when you wake up tomorrow go, okay, now we know at least one team where we've got to raise our game to that level between now and, and early March. You know, I had a coach that always told us you win and you learn. So, you know, you just got to take this game and just learn from it and just take away those mistakes and try to correct them and just get better on the defensive end and kind of work on our offensive end as well. How tough was it to that not being able to get in that flow with, with D sort of being in mm -hmm. trouble for a while to get the tech early and just didn't really get her mm -hmm. established either? Well, for us to beat a good team, we need to give it to score. I mean, we can win other ball games. Um, with other players scoring, but for us to beat somebody really good, Dee's going to have to put points on the board for us. And then she got frustrated. I think there were some, there were some early times she drove the drove the basket, didn't get the cap, maybe the call that she thought she should get. But regardless, like she's got to keep playing. She can't let that get her frustrated. Uh, I know she wanted to, wanted to put the ball in the hole for us, but uh, you know, overall, I feel like uh, there's some things that we can take from this and get better. Uh, I think there were a lot of players out there tonight that uh, maybe we've had some success on defense. But against a good team, we've got to lock down and be able to stop the drive and guard the three a lot better than we did tonight. And, and a credit a lot goes to this young lady beside me. I mean, tonight, Whit Creech played defense. And, and that's something that uh, I've been on her for about two years now. And so she's got to where now she's able to, to uh, do some fundamental things really well that help us. And so as long as she can uh, keep making that jump shot and keep guarding somebody, that's going to help us be a better team. Whitney, just sort of play off that on, on D. She goes one for eight for two points tonight. Just how different as a player is that? She has sort of changed things whenever she's not able to mm -hmm. do what she usually does. You know, I think Dee's a two-way player. You know, if she's not scoring the ball, she can do a lot of other things for this team. But, you know, like Coach Collins says, when we play a really tough team, we need Dee to kind of help us out. But we also have to help Dee out, not make her feel all that pressure and just kind of relieve that pressure off her and score the ball. I think if others are aggressive and scoring, it opens more things up for her. Greg, similar to what I asked you after the summer <coughs> in this game, what do you want your players to learn from tonight to, to move forward? The, the things that we worked on in practice and I thought we were doing well in practice, we did not do well tonight. And so, again, there's some slippage in there. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll get back and watch the film. Uh, we'll come back in and work a little bit tomorrow. Uh, but we've got to, as I talked to him in the huddle after the game, that for us to be successful, we've got to do the things that make us successful. And tonight we kind of, uh, for whatever reason, we didn't do those things. We didn't close out well. A lot of players were driving right by us to the basket. We saw a lot of layups. Uh, a lot of the threes that we gave up, I felt like, now I'll know, I'll know more accurately once I watch the film, but I felt like the threes that we gave up weren't from their offense. It was from our breakdowns on defense and then trying to scramble and recover and then we would lose a player and so those are things that we've got to clean up uh, we're going to play we've still got six more games for this season and all six are really good teams and we'll have to make sure that we uh, shore up that defense anything else for winter coach thank you guys